Hello everybody, Genesis King here, and welcome back to our Star Wars Legacy of the Old Republic playthrough in Stellaris. So, picking up where we left off at the end of the last episode, we finally, finally were able to capture Mandalore's mask, or not, not technically capture, but gain the ability to uh, explore the capital system down here uh, to, uh, to get that and to try to recover Mandalore's mask. What are we going to be doing now? Going forward, well, we've got to get our economy built up. It looks good on the surface, but you got to remember, we are being subsidized by the Taurus Civil Authority. So the minute we turn on them, we're going to be in trouble. Alloys, we're in good shape. We're creating more than the subsidy is providing. However, consumer goods, food, minerals, and I think technically energy credits, but also we're buying stuff, so that may not be completely offset. We do need to start producing way more of all of this if we're going to break off from them. Um, I don't believe we're getting any of these special resources. No, we're just straight up producing our own. Um, we need to start creating rare crystals, and I don't believe we have that tech, but I do believe we were working on it, or we have the ability to build it now. Let's just find one with an open. Here we go. Manufacturing. Uh, no, we don't have the ability to do rare crystals yet, so we'll have to keep an eye on that as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and unpause and get things going here. While we're doing the economy buildup, we're also building up our defensive stations. Everything on the front line, we're upgrading, we're filling in defensive points, we're filling in defense platforms, uh, and we are trying to solidify this line as much as we can. Specifically this system, this system, this one, and that one. And I guess this one technically too. Uh, we will need to go over our starbase cap, unless... No, we are already running Fortify the Border. Yep. Okay. So... I hope that's not going to end up being our weak point. We will need to build that up. We do have our defensive point down here. Our fleet is still hanging out for some reason. Uh, are we getting a cheaper upkeep or are you? No, we're not. Okay. Uh, you boys need to turn to your home base. Turn to your home base. I should send you guys back to capital. Yes. Our ships have been made Good superior. Stuff. All right, upgrade some defense platforms over there. Big jungle canopy uh, provides some much needed relief from the torrential downpour. Okay, so this is uh, us searching for Mandalore's mask. While exploring the jungle, the team is startled by the ground suddenly shaking, accompanied by a loud roaring in the distance. A massive oh crap. Uh, Boma plows through the thicket, instantly crushing some of the group, leaving the survivors to scramble for cover as an ear-splitting screech is heard in response to the sudden commotion. After a few moments of silence, a Drexel crashes through the canopy and attacks the Boma. The ensuing fight lasts for several minutes, with the rest of the expedition hiding in the dense jungle. Okay. We lose some manpower, but we get unity, and we get some, uh, society research. All right. How much is this built up? Just 7k. That won't be too bad. Uh, when we do kick off the war with the Authority, this planet and this planet... Actually, these three will be our first goal. Forget that. Forget that. We gotta secure this right here and secure the capital. A.E. Secure our shipyards. Right, can I reinforce you guys yet? I can. Although that spent all my alloys. Cool. You're fully built up. And oh, we can throw 18 defensive platforms on these bad boys. That's going to cost us quite a bit of alloys. And speaking of defensive platforms, you guys clarified in the comments, and thank you all for the comments on the last episode. It is greatly appreciated. Please do keep those coming. That the most, we'll pause here for a second, most of the value coming from these defensive stations or ring stations, I guess, around the planets is that we can add more defenses or defense platforms to help out with the defense platforms on our main starbase. So we want to make sure we build those up 
before we go to war. We don't want to be jumping in before we're quite ready. All right. So there's an ethic shift. All right. Starfighters and bombers. Good, good stuff. All right. Let's think about this. Let's upgrade Mark II. So we just get a boost to our sublight and evasion. We could grab our Citadel tech. 67 months, dear God. Or we could boost, so this would help our economy get out of the technical hole that we are in because we're positive, but we got all the subsidies. But weapons. <laughs> but weapons. Experimental proton torpedoes. I mean, let's cycle that tech, to be, to be perfectly honest. I need the sublight speed right now. No, no, I don't. Um, seven years, ten years, ethics attraction. Okay, that's fine. Don't need either of those. Don't need to activate that relic. We're good to go there. Something I do want to do is I was talking about the population stuff earlier. What we need to do is to try if I can find it here real quick. Oh, we can start doing heavy alloy extraction. Good. We need to get these Mandalorian recruitment camps up and running. So it does use consumer goods, which has not been the easiest thing for us to keep up with. Scientific um, but it does provide us with quote unquote free pops. So. You need to start popping those around. I think that's going to supersede the need for like Scientific here. Let's let's pop one in here. Um, I think it's going to supersede the need to get our economy out of the gutter, because if we can get more pops, that'll help us get that snowball rolling. OK, we got a lot of tech to take a look at here because uh, I'm slow on the trigger. Uh, what did we finish? Special components. OK. Mm, better hyperdrives. Better shields. Better re research complexes. Um, yes, please. Five months of research. You damn right. All right, hydroponics farm. Yes, we need to start boosting our production on our planets. That will help. Uh, and there are our habitats. Slug throwers, projectile missiles. Let's go with the habitats. All right. So with the food subsidy, or not the food subsidy, the food building. We have to decide where we want to put one of those. Do you need to keep producing more? Because what? 108. Dear God. Can't clear that. Construction complete. There's that. Ah, oh, who died? Scientist Ren died. Um. Sure. That's fine. We will go with that. All right, science ship, are you assisting research? You are. Uh, science ship, are you assisting research? You are. How much, uh, how much research are we producing here? 65, 59, 65. Okay. We'll be able to get that boosted quite a bit, actually. Thing is, it's only growing at 1.8 a month. Ooh. I replace you with, let's say... An envoy con the goodness I can't talk. Envoy complex would be smart. Why not have No, I I don't think I've got um really anything to boost pop growth. How about edicts? No? Hmm. Okay. 
Well, if we do see pop growth boost in our technology that comes up, we'll be very, very tempted to grab that. We're gonna gonna need it. You have to get a trait. Oh crap. Okay. That's fine. So, while we build up economically, are there any small wars that we could wage to help us in that goal? Unfortunately, these guys are also under the Tara Civil Authority. So, meh. Nah. Huts are here. There's no way we could handle them. I mean, maybe, but I don't think there's any way. Uh, these boys, we know nothing about. So unfortunately, that's not an option either. And everything on this side of us is related to them. We could... Are they... They're allies of enemies. You're donating authority, of course, not to Union. Okay. In theory, we could come after these guys, because I don't think... They like these guys. Can I go into... Yeah, they're not big fans. Yeah, they don't like them. They don't like them. How about us? Oops. People don't hate us. Like, they hate that. Wow, why does that always do that? That's, wow, sensitive. Okay. There we go. I mean, we could go after these guys. We could alternatively get them as defensive allies. Maybe not, though. Where are our envoys right now? What are we doing? Building relations with those guys. Building a spy network in Zeltron. Really? Got you guys down in Zeltron? Okay, let's go back to... Uh... Empire map. There we go. Got you guys down here? Really? Ah. Where's your territory? That's Circa Corp. That's Zeltron. That'd be a long way to go to take them on, but they are inferior to us. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, Espionage-wise, we are going to... Prepare a sleeper cell. Actually, no. Let's grab an asset. Mance when ready. Let's launch it. So I'd like to get my envoy out of there so we can move them maybe if they hate these guys we might want to befriend them <laughs> what do you guys think let me know down in the comments um i wish there was a mechanic to be like hey buddy well it's under these guys i'm fighting for my freedom um you should definitely fight with me Because I do think I attack here, they're going to be pulled in and they're going to try to hit us as well. Uh, ooh, we can finish off on the Supremacy Tree. Opens up an Ascension Perk. And once again, I have no clue what we want to do here. Slave Rigging. A slave circle is a mechanism allowed for remote control of vehicle systems while using a communicative device. For a vehicle that wasn't slave rigged, the owner with a computer and a little programming skill could set up a temporary slave circuit. What the hell? What's 25% on slave rigging? Okay, I don't know what that would give us. So that's a wild card that I'm actually very intrigued at for some reason. Gravity projectors. Ooh, we could get interdictor vessels. Their destiny. That would boost our envoys. And when we have subjects, that would help us there as well. I like the idea of getting more envoys. Intended learning. Edict funds would be nice. That would definitely help our research and everything. Good blocker cost, meh. One vision, meh. You know what? I want to go Lord of War. 
I want to do this. I want to get the plus one to the enclave capacity, which we honestly should be doing. So let's go ahead and grab this. And I think we might do that with... Oh, yeah, it's got to be greater than 50. Okay. Uh, are we almost at 50? No, not quite. All right, let's reinforce that. Let's get this bad boy above 50, and then I'll th I think we might send that off as an enclave. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Um, all right. Tech research, research complexes. Good, good stuff. Unlocks features ancient hyperlanes. Allows your ships to travel through ancient hyperlanes and discover forgotten places. Excuse me? Please. 21 months, but, but, but please. All right, how is the shipyard doing? Doing, doing well. Jungle discovery. All right, so this is searching for Mandalore's mask again. As the sounds of the fight die off, the Drexel screeches and starts eating the Droma, ignoring the hiding expedition. After a few minutes, the Drexel finishes its meal and flies away. The team continues into the jungle, searching under every leaf and rock, hoping to get lucky, even though it's becoming increasingly unlikely uh, increasingly unlikely of finding the Mandalore's remains, especially in such predators around. After a few hours of searching, nothing turns up until the leader spots something glittering, glittering in the light of a distant log. Would it be? Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. I would assume on that mission tree or that event tree that regardless of what you choose, either jungle or the other way, you end up finding it. Like, there's no way, there's no way one of them doesn't let you find it. That would be, that'd be weird. I upgrade you. Uh, you're already upgrading. Okay. Uh, let's go back into our ship designer for a second, because I do think... Well, let's let's redo that. Let's. What do I have on there? I got mediums. Right, so damage thirty eight point one nine. Let's remember that thirty eight point one nine. Fifty two point two two. Ah, they got point defense. Hmm. Uh, that's a lot of armor. That. All right, that should be good to go. We should have some upgrades to do there. Uh, what is this? Ah, three pops. Mandalorian on crit. See, that, that's powerful right there. Are we training up soldiers still where we need to be training up soldiers? Uh, there is no colonized planet down here. You're a bit of an outlier, so I would think we want to have this pretty defensed. Okay. Get a couple of those in. Get you. Uh, when war kicks off, I'll probably assign a general, and I'll need to remember to do that. But... 1607. Uh, let's... Let's get some... Uh, not that many. Not that many. Let's get a couple for you. Right, you're going to be set up defensively. We could risk it for the biscuit here and say, let's just have this planet be a purely ground defense system. If the fleet gets through, the fleet gets through, but it's either got to go to here, which is fully defensed, or it's got to get to here, which is fully defensed. So either way, it's got to go here. If they want to take the system, they got to go through a very hardened planet with a lot of defenses on it. So I think we can leave this without a station and we don't need to boost our starbase cap and we'll be good defensively for now. I, th I think. I think. All right. Are you up to 50? Not quite. Um, That's... You don't need an upgrade, and weirdly, you don't need. I guess I only put the one kind of battleship in there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but we're gonna turn these guys into an enclave because we need to start doing that. Do 
We can have up to three. So. I put it over 50? It did. All right, Mercer Enclave Foundation. Wait, what? We were debating whether or not to help set up the War Fleet Binder as an independent mercenary enclave. The proposal first put forward by the fleet commander would result in us losing control of the fleet. We would also be responsible for providing them with a sizable investment in energy credits and alloys. In return, they would give us a number of shares in the company. These would come with periodic dividends and special privileges. They assure us that in times of need, they will always be ready to fight for us and our, and our money. Key last sentence, and our money. Uh, it is a deal. Ah, we don't have the alloys saved up. Crap. Okay. Uh, no deal for now. We'll come back to that, but we should upgrade you. Get you those better fighters. All right. And evaluate them. Equivalence. Wow, you're not at war either. And evaluate them. You find it. I mean, granted, I don't have sensors, but I would assume I would see all their planets. Eh, maybe not. Their planets are down here. I guess it's going to take us a while to run through. Um, So, what we'll probably do is, once we pushed oh, out and we're getting into their superior. territory, go ahead and pop all these armies off the planets that we've got. We've got decent armies just sitting there in defense. So, we'll be able to pop these bad boys off. Uh, and get them moving in the right direction. Um, okay. You. What all can we build? Tom's relay. Actually may not be a bad idea. It increases our admin capacities. Yeah, let's save up for that. Let's, let's definitely save up for that. Uh, who died? Scientist died. Sure, that's that's fine. Okay. Scroll back up here. We do need to build up the defenses on Mandalore. Uh cannot risk. Cannot risk. In any way. <laughs> the system falling. Nope. Whole lot of nope. The ultimate. Aha! The Tongue leader discovers the mask of Mandalore the Indomitable. The long lost symbol of leadership has finally been recovered by the Mandalorians. As per ancient traditions, he dons the mask and claims his right as the new Mandalore. We can now leave Dixon to begin the new Mandalore's reign in earnest. Hey, finally. New Mandalore leads our people. Mandalore the ultimate has claimed the rightful throne and is ready to prepare his promised crusade against the weak Republic. Oh, is he now? Is he now? Oh, damn. Look at that. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, we're going to screenshot that. I don't know if that's making it into the thumbnail, but dear God, he looks like a badass. What do we get here? Hip weapon damage. Corvette focus, really? Okay. Oh, damn, he's immortal. Okay. Important for certain story events. Got it. All right, so uh, this series may get slightly chaotic uh, over the next however long. Edict funds plus 100. Oh, baby. Ooh, okay. I'm starting to experience build speed, upkeep, plus 10%. Maybe not. Maybe not right now. All right, let's unpause. Surprise catch. Our spy master watching over the Tar Civil Authority reports surprise to the to a new asset. Oh, nice. We just randomly get an asset, even though we don't have a spy master. All right. Cool. Yeah, we do need to get more envoys. Um, yeah, that would be something good to do. All right, we've already got a Mandalorian recruitment camp here.
Yeah, we need to get more of that food going. Get more food going. I think. I, I, I think. Once we get these guys going. Producing 20 food each. This is going to get us where we need to go with this. For sure. For sure. Eltron Sovereign Plan. Ooh. Okay. They declared them as a rival. All right. What we could do. Wait for these guys to get into a war. And then bust in their doors. Hopefully a war a long, long, long ways away. Uh, but we could definitely do that. Okay, you guys should just be embarked on the planet. Uh, where we go? There we go. Land on race. All right. We're probably overkilling it with these armies. Um, but I'd rather overkill it than not be prepared. Holy crap, what is this? We got a fleet? Oh my god, we got a fleet out of it. Mandalore's hunting group. Alright. Battleships. So I'm assuming these are just general designs. These are not my designs. I don't think. Azure and NT is our battleships. Yeah. Let's uh let's upgrade you guys to the newest designs. So let's go do that. Let's let's get you up to stuff. I reinforce oh I can. Preparations. Great Shadow Crusade result in the loss of our old leader, Mandalore the Indomitable, on loot of Dexon above Andron. After retrieving the mask from the jungle moon, our new leader, Mandalore the Ultimate, uh, seeks to lift Mandalore, the Mandoaid, out of the hole of betrayal and humiliation. Okay. Well, that is going to be where we wrap today's episode up. Not a lot of fighting today, but I think we moved the campaign in a good, good direction. So I hope you've all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Again, hope you all enjoyed. And... Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Star Wars, Stellaris, and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.